welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and today's video is going to be the Beat the Blues collab with Charmaine. Now Charmaine and I, we've collabed together before and she is absolutely beautiful inside and out. She's so happy, so excited. And every time I watch one of her videos, I just sit with a gigantic smile on my face the entire time. So she got a hold of me not very long ago on Instagram and she said, I really want to do a Beat the Blues collab every day for the month of January. Because, you know, in the wintertime, it's just kind of crappy weather and you just start feeling a little bit down in the dumps, a little bit depressed. I know I've struggled with that during the winter before in my life. So she sent me a screenshot of her calendar and she said, whatever day you want to choose, go, go ahead. Just let me know which one you want. Each day has its own theme and its own subject matter. So I looked through the screenshot of the days of January and I focused in on the 17th, which is Hazy Shade of Winter. That's a song by the Bangles, uh, originally done by Simon and Garfunkel. And that's one of my absolute favorite songs ever and then the subject matter was five actors and five actresses and I am totally obsessed with movies so I thought ooh, this will be perfect for me to take part in this collab on the 17th with Charmaine now she told me that I could pretty much do whatever I wanted to do in this video I could do my makeup uh, I could talk about the song hazy shade of winter but I had to really focus more on the uh, five actors and five actresses so I thought about hazy shade of winter and what that means in my life. And I live in Oregon and we have the grayest winters here. Very hazy, very gloomy. Starts in the fall, like in October, goes all the way through the winter into like March. I mean, not every single day is gray and gloomy, but I would say that 90% of our days in Oregon, at least where I live in Oregon, it's just really gray outside. I mean, everything just looks gray. And I know that it has affected me before. I mean, I, I don't think it affects me every single winter, but I know that I have felt blue and down and gloomy in the winter living here and seeing all this grayness all around me. So what I typically do is I look for movies that make me happy, that make me feel good, that lift me up. And so that's what I was thinking about actors and actresses. I wanted to come up with five actors and five actresses that are primarily in comedies, feel good movies, movies that like just make you feel better. But I couldn't just stick with five for each category. So I do have three honorable mentions for each category. Now this is also going to be a giveaway. I chose some things that I felt were more uplifting, kind of, kind of bright and cheerful, just really good things to kind of get you out of that winter gloomy hazy funk. And I will be going over what's in the giveaway and all the rules behind the giveaway at the end of the video. So I'm going to scoot over here and I'm going to pop some pictures up of the actors and actresses I chose. Uh, these are all from Google. I, I don't want to like screw up any kind of like copyright violation, but I did get all of these pictures off of Google. So let's start off with the actors. Actor number one is Michael Landon. Now my husband and I are currently watching Little House on the Prairie all the seasons. We found them on Freebie TV, I think it's called. And of course I used to watch Little House on the Prairie as a kid. I grew up watching it. And then of course the uh, reruns came on TV. So I, I've watched these seasons and these episodes I don't know how many times. I think this is my husband and my second time through the entire series. And it's something that we really like to watch during the winter because we both kind of feel that gray gloominess feeling you know living in Oregon and Michael Landon plays Charles Ingalls which is Laura Ingalls father and of course I read all the uh, Little House in the Prairie books growing up too and I can remember wanting Charles Ingalls or Michael Landon to be my dad so bad when I was a kid he's just such a wonderful person in, in the show I just love him he's smart he's loving uh, he's very uh, just compassionate and just a really cool dude. And he was also in the show Highway to Heaven, which I also love too. He plays Jonathan Smith, or Smith his last name? I don't know, I know his first name's Jonathan. And I was really sad when he passed away, really sad, because I just think he's such a wonderful actor. Now, I do know that in his personal life, he wasn't the greatest guy in the world. My husband and I actually just watched a documentary that his son, Michael, Michael Landon Jr. did, and uh, talks about the fact that he wasn't the greatest father in the world. And he did have a pretty big problem with alcohol. But I, I think by the time he passed away, according to his son, he, he'd kind of gotten his relationships with his kids back on track. But anyway, I just think Michael Lannon is a wonderful, feel-good actor. Number two is Jack Black. Now, Jack Black is one of my absolute favorite actors, favorite comedians. I just think he is absolutely hysterical. And I do have a little bit of a crush on Jack Black, too. The movies that he's in that are my favorites are School of Rock. Love that movie. Watch
watch that all the time. Uh, Nacho Libre, that's a movie that I will choose a lot of times if I'm kind of in a bad mood or kind of in a funk. That movie always makes me laugh, always makes me feel better. He's also in High Fidelity, which is one of my favorite movies, and also The Holiday with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet and Jude Law. I love that movie. And a really, really interesting role for him because he kind of played more of a romantic lead in that movie. He's also in Tenacious D, which is a music group, music band. Uh, he plays the guitar and sings with Kyle Gass, and some of their songs are so freaking hilarious. If you guys have never checked out Tenacious D, I highly recommend doing so. Number three is Tom Hanks and the movies that he's in that I just adore and laugh throughout the majority of the movies are big. Love that movie. That came out I think when I was in middle school maybe, grade school, middle school, and I can remember going to the theater and seeing that with my friends and we just thought that was such a great movie. And then also The Money Pit. That is so good. He is married to Shelley Long in that movie and they purchase this house that's just a ramshackled mess. I mean it looks beautiful from the outside but they find out as they uh, you know, get into purchasing the house and start redoing it that it's just an absolute money pit, just a heap of crap. And it's so funny. He's just hilarious. And then also, of course, uh, Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail. Those are really good movies, too. And he is in more dramatic roles, too, of course. And uh, But a lot of those, too, have like a feel-good ending to them or a feel-good theme to them. But I just think he's amazing. I love Tom Hanks. Number four is Robin Williams. Now, Robin Williams is my absolute favorite comedian of all time. And I do have a couple of DVDs of his where he's doing stand-up comedy. One is, I think, Live at the Met. And I can't remember what the other one's called, but so funny. And you can find live at the Met on YouTube. I highly recommend checking that out. It is so funny. And I love the movie Mrs. Doubtfire. That's one of my favorite movies. My kids and I, we quote that to each other all the time. That's definitely a movie I will choose if I'm in kind of a bad mood or feeling kind of sad or down in the dumps. I love that. Also, RV. That is such a great movie. He is so funny in that. The movie Flubber. I love that. I used to watch that movie with kids that I babysat when I was like in college, I think. So good. And then Patch Adams. That's such a great movie. That is kind of sad. I mean, there's some sad stuff that goes on in that movie, but uh, all in all, I think Patch Adams is such a good feel-good movie, and I was so devastated when Robin Williams passed away. So devastated. I, I cried. I mean, I was just so, couldn't believe it, you know, and I, I think that's a really good testament to the fact that people, even though they, they come across as really happy and they're funny and they're wonderful comedians and, you know, try to make other people laugh and feel good all the time, you know, there are people that really struggle internally with massive depression and uh, really was an eye opener to me uh, losing him. Uh, but I'm so glad that I have like his movies to watch. Uh, he left a really beautiful legacy behind him. And I just hope that uh, we always remember what an amazing person Robin Williams was. Number five is Mike Myers. Now, Mike Myers started on Saturday Night Live. And I love the characters that he played on Saturday Night Live. So funny. I haven't watched that show in a really long time. I'm usually asleep before that show even starts. But the movies that he's in that I love so much are uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer. I know that doesn't sound like a comedy, but it's absolutely hilarious. Highly recommend checking that out if you've never seen it before. And then, of course, Cat in the Hat. He plays the cat. So funny. Oh, my kids and I quote that movie all the time, too. And then, of course, all the Austin Powers movies. Those movies make me so happy and laugh so hard every time I watch them. So good. So good. And I don't see him in any movies anymore. I really hope that he's still acting because he's just got a perfect comedic talent and gift. My honorable mentions for actors are Jason Bateman. He's in Horrible Bosses, which is so funny. Identity Thief with Melissa McCarthy. And then also Game Night. That's not one of my favorite movies that he's in, but it's still still really funny. And I think he's adorable. I thought Jason Bateman was super cute since he was a kid. He actually played a role on Little House on the Prairie when he was little. So really fun to see him as a little boy in that show. My second honorable mention for actors is Eddie Murphy. He's one of my faves. And I can remember going to see Beverly Hills Cop. I think I was like in the fourth grade with my mom and laughed so hard. And I'm not kidding you. I know every single word, every single line to that movie. Every time I watch that movie with like my husband or my kids, I just start in from the beginning and go all the way through. And they're like, okay, knock it off. We get it. You're cool. You're super cool. You know, every single line of this movie, but you're really obnoxious. And we're no longer going to watch this with you if you don't shut your mouth. He's also in The Nutty Professor, of course. I think there's two or three Nutty Professor movies that he did. And then Coming to America is one of the funniest movies he's ever been in. I love Eddie and I miss Eddie. Eddie doesn't really act that much anymore either. And I, I hope he's not done forever because 
he's just great. And I, I think we need some more Eddie Murphy movies. And then finally we have Steve Carell and he's in the office and that's my my daughter and my son's favorite show of all time we own all of the seasons on dvd we watch that show constantly it's so funny his character is so cringy and you just kind of want to slap him most of the time but he's so funny and then evan almighty is a movie that he's in that's really funny too i love bruce almighty i actually just saw Bruce Almighty for the first time, what, last weekend with my husband, I love Jim Carrey too. And I, I could have put Jim Carrey on here too, but I, I don't know. I just, these people just popped into my head first. Uh, but Steve Carell plays Evan in Bruce Almighty too. And it's just so funny. And then of course, Date Night. I love Date Night. He's in that with Tina Fey. Such a great movie. Mark Wahlberg's in that movie. You know, he's also uh, the voice of Gru in Despicable Me. He's just great. I, I love him. And, and his movies are also ones that I typically gravitate towards if I need a picture me up. Now we're going to talk about the actresses. Number one is Maya Rudolph and she started on Saturday Night Live too I'm pretty sure. So did Eddie Murphy by the way. And I just think she is beautiful and she's funny and she has such great comedic timing and she's in Bridesmaids and that's probably my favorite movie that she's in. So hilarious. I went and saw that movie in the theater with my best friend from high school and we laughed so hard we almost peed our pants. Like we were in tears. Like my stomach hurt for like three days after I watched that movie. She's also in Fifty First Dates, which is a great movie, and then Grown Ups. And like I said, she's just a really funny lady. I just really enjoy her sense of humor and uh, her facial expressions are amazing. And uh, really hope that she continues acting too. I haven't seen her in a movie in a while. Number two is Sandra Bullock. And when I was in my early 20s, I used to have really long, dark hair and people would tell me that I look like her. I don't look anything like her now. And she has aged so beautifully. She is so gorgeous and she is so funny. And I don't think she really gets a lot of credit for how funny she is. I mean, she, she is in a lot of more dramatic roles too, but she has a great sense of humor. And she is in the movie The Heat with Melissa McCarthy, and that's one of my favorite movies she's ever done. Uh, such a great uh, team those two make together. And then also Miss Congeniality, that's one of my favorite movies she does too. And she's also in a movie called Hope Floats, which kind of starts out a little sad. There's some sad... Uh, Kind of stuff going on in that movie but it ends so well i'm not going to give it away if you haven't seen it yet if you have not seen hope floats before highly recommend great movie number three is melissa mccarthy she's one of my faves i think that she has the best dry sarcastic sense of humor uh, she's a little goofy too but she's just amazing i love her movies the heat like i just said uh, she's in that with sandra bullock one of my favorite movies i went and saw that for my birthday with my friend in the theater and then as soon as it came out on dvd i bought it and we've watched that movie i don't know how many times i love it she's also an identity thief with jason bateman her character in that movie is spectacular so funny and then of course she's in bridesmaids and her character in bridesmaids is probably one of the best characters in that movie and then the movie tammy i thought was really funny too i just love her she she's just makes me happy when i when i look at her she's got such a beautiful smile and she's just a beautiful lady inside and out, I believe. Number four is Julie Andrews. And I don't think that you can have a feel good actress list without including Julie Andrews, the queen of the musicals, Mary Poppins and Sound of Music. Such great movies. And my husband had never seen Sound of Music and I think it was about a year ago, maybe nine months ago, something like that. And I forced him to sit down and watch Sound of Music with me. And he really liked it. He thought it was great. Lo loved, loves the songs. Uh, was not as emotionally invested into it as I was. I think I cried, like not bald, but had tears streaming down my face through the entire <laughs> watching of that movie. I mean, I just could not get myself together. I was so excited that we were watching as I hadn't watched it in a long time. But her voice is so beautiful. And I don't know, I, she was such a huge part of my childhood, you know, watching Mary Poppins and Sound of Music. I mean, that was something that we did as a family, uh, like on Easter and just, uh, I don't know, just a movie night. That Those were two movies that we were, would typically pick to watch. So yeah, she was like a staple of my childhood. I just love her. Number five is Kristen Wiig. Now my daughter kind of thinks I look like Kristen Wiig. I don't, I don't know why she thinks that. I've had a couple other people tell me that too. I'm like, no, she's about half of what I am weight wise. Like I probably outweigh her by about 150 pounds, but uh, I think she's beautiful. I think she's funny. I love her sense of humor. She's also in Bridesmaids and her role in that is just hysterical. The scenes that she's in in that movie are so 
freaking funny. She's also in the remake of Ghostbusters that I think came out in 2016. Hilarious. And she also does the voice of Lucy, who is Gru's uh, love interest and ends up being his wife in Despicable Me Part 2 and Part 3. And I, I just love her. I love her voice. She's just wonderful. You know, I, I think she really belongs on this list of the actresses that are in feel-good funny movies. Now we're going to go into my honorable mentions for actresses. And the first one is Meg Ryan. And I grew up absolutely idolizing her and my maiden last name is Ryan and I convinced two people that I went to high school with that Meg Ryan was my aunt my husband's like no you didn't I'm like yes I did and I really hope that they figured out that I was totally full of crap but who knows they might still think that she's my aunt uh, my favorite movies that she's in that really make me feel good and make me laugh are inner space she did that with Dennis Quaid and Martin Short such a great movie from the 80s also, of course, When Harry Met Sally that she did with Billy Crystal. Such a great movie, so funny. Uh, the restaurant scene is classic. And then French Kiss, she did that with Kevin Klein. That's a great movie. I haven't seen that in forever. I need, I need to watch that one pretty soon. And then she was also in some more dramatic movies too. Uh, when a Man Loves a Woman is also a movie that's you know pretty dramatic. She plays a recovering alcoholic in that movie, but still has a feel-good message to it. And then, of course, Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail that she did with Tom Hanks. Great movies. The next actress is Molly Ringwald. And she was a huge part of my adolescence. Uh, 16 Candles, Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink. All those movies are so funny. I mean, there's some kind of serious elements to a couple of those movies, but really funny. And uh, I just loved her. You know, I, I wanted to be Molly Ringwald. I thought she was so creative and so beautiful. And I miss her too. She hasn't been in anything for a long time either. And then my last choice here is Betty White. And she was in the show Golden Girls. And that show is one of my absolute all-time favorite shows ever. I own all of those seasons on DVD. And her character was, was the best, I believe. I mean, I also loved Rue McClanahan and B. Arthur and Estelle Getty. I mean, all of their characters were wonderful. But Rose, she played Rose in Golden Girls, was so wonderful. I mean, so funny, such a ditz, and would say the dumbest things, but was always so funny. And man, I miss her. I'm so sad that she passed away. What a long, amazing life that woman lived. And what a wonderful legacy she's left behind her. So now let's talk about the giveaway. I chose a few things that I felt were very bright and cheerful, kind of fit the theme here of uh, feeling good, lifting you up, kind of beating the blues, beating the hazy grayness of winter. So let me start with my first item here. I got these fun little fuzzy socks here. I love to wear socks like this during the winter because my feet are usually freezing. And I love the bright colors here. There's three pairs. There's this one that's kind of striped, obviously. And then this one's kind of like a mint green. And then we have pink and white striped as well. I got these at Walgreens. And I've purchased these kind of socks from Walgreens before. And they last really well and they're wonderful they feel so good on your feet then we have the wet and wild color icon little palette here in call me sunshine and i do own this and i love it it's one of my favorite gold tone honey toned palettes that i own it's a great more affordable dupe for the urban decay naked honey palette I also have some Burt's Bee Lip Balm. I just thought this uh, packaging was really bright and cheerful, and this is in the shade Mango. I do have a couple of these. I have a strawberry one, and then I have a pineapple coconut one, and they feel great on the lips, and I love this brand. Then I have some Crystal Light here. I love to drink Crystal Light. I put Crystal Light in my water bottle all the time, and this is Raspberry Lemonade, and there are 10 little packets in here, on-the-go packets, so you could put these in a water bottle, shake them up, and drink them. They're, they're amazing, and I, I really do love this flavor. Then I also picked up these little pen here. These are the Pentel RSVP RT uh, ballpoint pen set and I just like the colors. They're bright and cheerful and I love using these types of pens and I also grabbed this little notebook so you guys can make some lists if you'd like to. I'm a huge list maker. I don't always stick to my list. I don't always get my list done but uh, I do make a lot of lists and I just thought this was super cute. Really cute uh, packaging here kind of bright and cheerful and then we've got tons of little papers in here like I said to take some lists on. So let's go over the rules to the giveaway and of course I'm gonna have the rules put in my description box because I usually forget one of the rules here. So number one you need to be at least 18 years or older to enter into the giveaway. Number two, you need to be publicly subscribed to both Charmaine and I. Number three, you need to live in the United States. Number four, you need to list one of the honorable mention 
actresses that I talked about in this video. That way I will know that you want to enter into the giveaway. If you don't list one of their names, I don't care who it is, there was three that I mentioned, just list one of their names uh, and then I'll know you want to enter into the giveaway. I am not responsible for any allergic reactions or any weird anything that any of these products do to you. Uh, I would say that if you're not real sure about these things, um, maybe don't enter into the giveaway or of course you can uh, enter into the giveaway and then if you win, you're not real sure about these things, you can give them maybe to a friend or family member. Now this giveaway is going to run for two weeks. So on January 31st at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to shut the giveaway down and then the following morning, February 1st, I will announce the winner. I will comment back to you in the comment section and also create a post in my community tab. I'm so happy that Charmaine asked me to be a part of her Beat the Blues collab. Such a great idea. So many really fun creators are joining in on this. I just feel so honored and so blessed to be a part of it. And I also cannot wait to watch Charmaine's video and see which actors and actresses that she chose. I, did, I do think she did tell me that she chose some honorable mentions too. I told her, I said, I can't just stick the five. There's no way. I'm too big of a movie fanatic. And I would love to know what you guys think of the people that I chose, the actors and the actresses. Let me, let me know what you think. We'll chat about that in the comment section. I know that some of the people I picked aren't everybody's favorites, but you know, to each their own. I think that's what makes the world fun is that we all have differences and different preferences. But I just love all the people that I mentioned. I really do. Now I'm thinking about what movies I'm going to go watch after I'm done filming here. I really want to thank you guys for taking time out of your life to sit down and watch my video. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section because I love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, of course, take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. See you soon. Bye. Drop it.